Hi everybody. I hope everybody's doing well today. <clears throat> I'm feeling pretty good. I still haven't gotten used to that new medicine. It's been bothering my stomach. You have to take it first thing in the morning <clears throat> with like a glass of water. You can't eat anything for 30 minutes or something. I think it's 30 minutes. <clears throat> but it does. It's it doesn't really take much to upset my stomach anyway, but I'll, hopefully I'll get used to that. On our prayer request today, we got uh, J Gail Jones has depression, back problems, and other problems. And April Estrella has bad pain and depression. And uh, Judy should be getting the results of her thyroid test anytime, probably tomorrow or something like that. <clears throat> and a uh, little short list today. Everybody's doing okay. I mean, not maybe not okay, but they're not bad enough to. Uh, you know, have to ask for prayer or something, but let's remember anybody that's sick or anything. Generally, Father, I want to pray for everybody on the prayer list, and I want to pray for anybody that uh, hasn't told us that they would like a prayer request to. And, and Lord, thank you for everything you've done for me and, and all the people that we've prayed for. In Lord's name I pray, amen. Okay. There. Our Bible reading today is Esther 4, 5 through 14. Then Esther, would, then Esther summoned Hathak, one of the king's eunuchs assigned to attend her, and ordered him to find out why, what was troubling Mordecai and why. So Hathak went to Mordecai <laughs> in the open square of the city in front of the king's gate. Mordecai told him everything that had happened to him, including the exact amount of money Haman had promised to pay into the royal treasury for the destruction of the Jews. He also gave him a copy of the text of the edict, or if I can get this page turned. These pages are awful, man. Hard to turn in. Um, their annihilation, which had been published in Susa, to show to Esther and explain it to her, and he told him to instruct her to go into the king's presence to beg for mercy and plead with him for her people. Hathak went back and reported to Esther what Mordecai had said. Then she instructed him to say to Mordecai, all the king's officials and the people of the royal province know that for any man or woman who approaches the king in the inner court without being summoned, the king has but one law, that they should be put to death unless the king's extends the golden scepter to them and spares their life. But thirty days have passed since I was called to go to the king. When Esther's words were reported to Mordecai, he went back he sent back this answer. Do not think that because you are in the king's house you you alone of all the Jews will escape. For if you remain silent at this time, relief and deliverance for the Jews will arise from another place. But you and your families will perish and you know who knows but that you have come into a royal position for such a time as this okay our uh our devotions for today are entitled righteous among the nations at yad vasim the holocaust museum in israel my husband and I went to the Righteous Among the Nations garden that honors the men and women who risked their lives to save Jewish people during the Holocaust. While looking at the memorial, we met a group from the Netherlands. One woman was there to see her grandparents' names listed on the large plaques. Intrigued, we asked about her family story. Members of a resistance network, the woman's grandparents, Reverend Peter and Adriana Muller, took in a two-year-old Jewish boy and passed him off as the youngest of their eight children from 1943 to 45. Moved by the story, we asked, did the little boy survive? An older gentleman in the group stepped forward and proclaimed, I am that boy. The bravery of many to act on behalf of the Jewish people reminded me of Queen <clears throat> Esther. The queen may have thought she could escape the king's Xerxes decree to annihilate the Jews around 350 BC because she had concealed her ethnic However, when however she was convinced to act, even under the threat of death, when her cousin begged her 
not, to not remain silent about her Jewish heritage because she had been placed in her position for such a, a time as this. We may never be asked to make such a dramatic decision. However, we will likely face the choice to speak out against an injustice or remain silent. To provide assistance to someone in trouble or turn away. May God grant us courage. Amen. If you heard something, I've got my phone on, on vibrate. I've got all the notifications turned down and I've got it on do not disturb. It's working a little bit better. Some things still pop through, but it's not ruining my videos right now. Now, if somebody calls, that might be a different story. One of these, it's always a, a darn one of those callers, you know, that's trying to hoot at you about, about something. All right. Jokes of the day. What might you call the person, personnel manager who has let employees go? A fireman. A young man walked up to a park bench where an elderly man is quietly weeping, so he asks if he is okay. The old guy says, Yes, I am great. I'm in love with a beautiful 25-year-old model who adores me. She cooks all my meals, and we make love nearly every day. The young man asks, Uh, so why are you crying? The old guy says, I can't remember where I live. <laughs> oh, in 1492, Columbus sailed the ocean blue. And in 1495, his luggage finally arrived. <laughs> oh. Girlfriend, while having a romantic dinner at a restaurant, she says, Say something, say something that will spur my heartbeat. Boyfriend, I forgot to bring any money. <laughs> Okay, you know your doctor is too old when you look at the framed diploma on his wall and realize his Hippocratic Oath was signed by Hippocrates. Ooh, hoo, hoo. that's old. Um, a little boy took the chair at the barber shop. How would you like your hair cut today, son? Asked the barber. Oh, do it like you do daddy's with a big hole at the back. Ooh. Mine is a little, I've got what you call like triple crowns back here. And they, like, hair goes in different directions. And it kind of makes it look like it's thin there. But I think some of it is a little thin. But not like, you know, not like a, a hole. <laughs> oh, well. Let's see. Where was I at? Two snails went to an auto race. There were 26 cars. So instead of numbers, the cars were identified by letters from A to Z. As the race started, the... S car quickly sped away from the other cars. Seeing this, the one snail said to the other, Hey, look at that S car go. Get it? <laughs> Did you hear about uh, the dead cabbage? There was a big turnip at the funeral. <laughs> what kind of birds stick together? Velcros? A policeman pulls over a drunk driver for not stopping at a stop sign and asks the driver if he saw the stop sign. The driver replies, oh, I did, but it turned red too fast for me to stop. <laughs> uh, last joke of the day. How is a snail stronger than an elephant? Because an elephant carries his trunk, but a snail carries his house. Try that. And now, it is time for Who Is This? Yesterday, on Who Is This? We, our man of the day is, and you don't look the same, believe me. That's McCulkey Culkin. Not quite as cute anymore. No, not cute at all. And, uh, oh, what happened? I had it. Uh, okay, I'm gonna find it. 
Wonder Woman of the day. And it was Oprah. Has any of y'all tried that cauliflower crust pizza she's got? Let me know in the comments if, you, if it, it was any good if you did. And our man of the day for today. I don't know if I can get that much bigger. Right here. And he was in Pretty Woman and an officer and a gentleman. He was in other movies too. He hadn't been in anything real recent, I don't think. Unless it was something, you know, that didn't do good. And our woman, she was in Golden Girls on TV, the Mary Tyler Moore show, and she's hosted Saturday Night Live before. And I don't really know different movies that she's been in. That's just all I could remember about it. Now it's time for tablet time. Tablet time. And today, oh, don't do this to me. Today, on tablet time, here's the pizza we had last night. I added some, I took the pepperoni off and added some cheese to it. It's Walmart Great Value Thin Crust Pepperoni. That's the last of the cherry pie. And Logan put in some uh, caramel ice cream there with it because that's all we had. We didn't have any vanilla. Um... I think Jennifer might have sent me this. I, sometimes I, it's hard for me to remember. This is she called this an open-faced Reuben. Looks good. I, I can't eat sauerkraut, but I, I like sauerkraut. And this, I think Leah sent this as chicken and uh, wild rice and carrots. And this is the one that I picked to be my wallpaper. And when I told Joyce, she had she had picked it an hour earlier, the same one, out of all these, a bunch of photos. And that's, that's wild. And then I've got a joke here. Hot outside? Shut up. <laughs> and I think I got one more thing, and it's this recipe. I think I'm going to make this tomorrow. It, uh chicken and potato bake. Now, I haven't made this in a long time, but we used to make this all the time, like until we got burnt out on it. If any of y'all can't see this and you need it, uh, I'm on Messenger on Facebook. I can send a, a good copy of it on that if you can't see it there. You could probably pause it and see it. And I think that's, I think that's about it. This was lunch yesterday, some of those munchies crackers. Man, those things are great. The orange ones, I guess it's cheddar with peanut butter, the square ones. Oh, gosh, y'all. And some uh, Tabitha said that they had not, uh, Dorito-flavored ones. Ooh, I'll have to check that out. I got those at Walmart. They were in the middle aisle in some, like, in a rack in the middle aisle. Not, not, I, I guess they have more where the chips are, but they're not where the regular chips are. The Fritos ones are near the Fritos products, like where the, the, the potato chips and stuff are. But this, the, where we saw the crackers was in the middle, like main aisle, you know, where they have different things down through there. That's where we saw those. But uh, they're just great. That's the kind I get when I go to my infusion. They'll give you some crackers. It's a good thing since they're charging them $15,000 for each one. And I've had three. And I got three packs of crackers. And a Sierra Mist each time. Good, good deal. <laughs> oh, I don't know what we're gonna do. We can't pay the, what the, we can't pay the, uh, whatever you call it, the copay. It's over a thousand. It's like a thousand twenty dollars each time. We already owe three thousand sixty. But this is the only thing that's ever helped me so far, and I'm hoping it'll put me in remission. What's that worth? You know, it, it's. You can't put a figure on it, y'all. You can't put a figure on it. So I'm just going to let the Lord guide us. He'll take care of, of us like he always has. So everybody, press like and subscribe. And hit that notification button. I appreciate everyone. God bless.